The Honourable Member for Swan River. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today I would like to recognize the Urban Forest Committee in my home constituency of Swan River. The committee that initiated in 2000 carry out biannual Arbor Days each spring and fall. Volunteers and students partner with local industry leaders, Louisiana Pacific and Spruce Products, and the town of Swan River. Trees are transferred from the town nursery to designated areas throughout the community. The committee holds meetings to develop a plan to strategically plant these trees throughout the town. Many of the trees planted replaced the elm trees that were lost due to Dutch elm disease. The schools throughout the community have also become involved through beautifying their school grounds with trees to create green space and reduce greenhouse gases. This has evolved to a number of school projects where students and Mother Nature establish a bond. Through the successful application of grants, the committee has purchased seedlings that are planted in the town nursery. The nursery was a legacy project to commemorate the crowning of the Swan Valley as the forest capital of Canada in 1998. In addition, an arboretum was started in October of 2003. This arboretum is known now as a showcase of 60 species of trees, including fruit trees, conifers, shade trees, and other deciduous trees. Families can visit the arboretum and incorporate their yard plan by seeing the trees at an advanced stage of maturity. The Urban Forest Committee has given research and discussion to preserve the virgin urban forest in the Swan Valley, Swan Valley Regional School property. The committee is presently partnering with the Swan Lake Watershed Conservation District to make this parcel land a heritage site where students and community members can broaden their knowledge of forest ecology and have an appreciation for the aesthetic beauty. Madam Speaker, this is the true alliance of industry, volunteerism and community forming steadfast partnerships in the Swan Valley. Urban forests have become part of a well-planned green space. Persistence has resulted in resolve from the environment. Madam Speaker, I'd like all members to recognize the efforts of this committee, led by co-chair Francie Baird, who is 94 years young. The hard work of her and her colleagues have made a difference the in their The member's time has expired.